guys, it's me, Donna, and today we're going to be reading John Selena by James Howe, and it's illustrated by Randy Cecil. So let's start reading. So this is John Selena by James Howe, and it's illustrated by Randy Cecil. And this is a Candlewick Press book. Bronzelina had a dream. I want to dance. But you are a dinosaur, Madame Lucille pointed out. True, Bronzelina replied, but in my heart, I am a ballerina. She is too big, and she does not have the right shoes. Madame Lucille wondered what to do. She had never ha had dinosaur as a student before. Dinosaurs were rather large. And this one certainly did not have the right shoes. But then she felt Clara and Jack tugging at her skirt. Oh, please, they pleaded. Madame Lucille looked into the dinosaur's eyes. What's your name, dear? Bronzelina. Bronzelina Apatosaurus. I even sound like a dancer, don't you agree? Madame Lucille did agree. How could she not? <laughs> Welcome to Madame Lucille's Dance Academy for Girls and Boys, she said. Please try not to push out the dancers. Oh, squash out the, da the dancers. Music, Magnolia, she commanded the piano player. As Magnolia began to play, Madame Lucille turned her commands to the students. Play! Uzove! Arabesque! Jete! What a graceful dancer you are, my dear, Madame Lucille. Seal exclaimed. Blantelina blushed. On the outside, I am a dinosaur, but in my heart, you're a ballerina, sighed Clara and Jack. She still doesn't have the right shoes. In the weeks that followed, look out! Help! Hey, watch your tail! The piano! Oh, Blantelina, I'm afraid you, you, you are too big to be a ballerina. You barely fit in my studio. And how in the world will a ma male d dancer ever lift you over his head? I could do it, Jack shouted. No, my dear, said Madame Lucille with her sigh. You cannot. I told you she was too big. A tear fell down from Zontelina's eyes. Downcast, she turned to leave. Wait, Clara cried out. Don't go. My mother has been working on supplies for you all week, Zontelina. She's bringing it today. Whatever are you talking about? Madame Lucille asked Clara. Just then, Clara's mother appeared at the door. You must be Blanchelina, she said, holding out the supplies. I hope these will fit. Well, now she has direct shoes. Blanchelina beamed. They fit perfectly, she cried. I am a ballerina. Or would I be, or I would be, if only I weren't so big. Oh, fiddlesticks said Madame Lucille. Why didn't I see it before? The problem is not that you are too big. The problem is that my studio is too small. And so the whole class went off to look for a studio big enough for, for, to hold all of Blanchelina's talent. Too small? Too small. Still too small? Still too small. I have an idea, Mill. Now Madame Lucille Dance Academy had room for everyone. Madame Lucille's dan Outdoor Dance Academy for girls, boys, and dinosaurs. I want to dance. Then you must go, my dear. And cows. And it all began with the dream. The end. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!